VST here, Velvet Pistech. Welcome to the channel today. I'm gonna show you something. I have the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra in front of me. So I'm just gonna go into Galaxy Store, see a few updates, right? Probably you have more updates than I do. But what is interesting here, besides all the other updates, there is also an update to the Samsung stock internet browser. Version 6.1.41 and there are two interesting lines in the changelog. The first thing is block tracking by invisible image, tracking pixel. And the second update is enhanced search experience in the URL bar. Why the first one is important, I'm gonna let you know. First the question is guys, do you know what tracking pixel or invisible images, right? Because that could be tricky. And it's actually very simple and yet very effective. So a lot of the services out there, the sites, and also some email senders are putting a very small pixel, usually one by one. These images do also have other names like pixel tags, like page tags, tracking bugs, web tags, and whatsoever. Do you hear what is important? They all contain the word tracking. And in case you're warning yourself, did I ever see a pixel like this, you probably did not because it's not really visible to the naked eyes because what the services are actually doing they're putting a single one-to-one -one pixel image and this is buried somewhere could be on a web page you're visiting could be in an email right and it's completely invisible because they just make it transparent or they just make it with the same color as the background and what this kind of actually means is that if you have a tracking pixel in your email the sender can not only see that you opened email, but they can see how many times you opened email and stuff like this, right? So this is important to know that the latest Samsung internet browser apparently is blocking this so-called invisible images and or tracking pixels. The second change log is enhanced search experience in the URL bar and I want to show you guys something. I want to show you guys how things look like in the search bar before I update it. So this here is my Samsung stock and you can just see, yeah, I have 81 tabs open. So why do I have so much, right? In reality, I don't have the habit to close them all, right? So it's just among us, it's just enormous. But hey, I'm not gonna do anything yet, right? I just wanna show you guys what happens right now when I go inside the search box, and for example, I'm gonna try to type Google, right? I get a suggestion. Search suggestions, Google Pixel, Google Pixel 3, or let me just try to type here a, you know, brand, car brand, BMW, BMW forum. So all these things that I pretty much used, and it does look quite nice. There is this G here, right? Google is default, and this is my default search engine. You can go and choose Yahoo, Bing, or anything else. Now, I'm going to close it. I'm gonna hit here the update button because I wanna see what exactly has been enhanced in this search experience. So what exactly is going to change? Now installed, now I'm going to hit the open button and we should be now on this new option. So we see there is a new feature, which is zoom one. So let me just click zoom, all right? So I can just go and yep, zoom the page up to 500%, which is quite a lot. And I just want to make sure that I'm indeed using the latest version. So I'm just gonna go guys into static and I'm gonna scroll down to about something internet 16.0.141. This is indeed the latest, latest option. Now I'm just going to click again into the search bar and I'm just gonna try to search the same thing. So I'm just gonna type Google, right? And can pretty much see it is almost like the same, so I don't really know what I've enhanced. Let me just try to type also here the BMW. All right, I think I just get a new more suggestion. Maybe it is enhanced, but I'm not 100% sure how exactly we will tell the difference. All right, let's just go back into the settings, guys, and let's just go here to the privacy and security menu. All right, now inside the Samsung Internet Browser, you have a basic option, you have a secure option, which is the recommended option, and you have also a strict option. I don't know why, but the default setting is the basic one. So I'm just thinking, guys, why not use the recommended option, which is the secure one, right? And in case you wonder how this works, this will not work like this. You cannot select it from here. Down below, we have something called the block backward redirections, which is another very annoying method, right? But when you select it, you immediately go a bit beyond the recommended option, which is the secure one. We have now blocked the backward redirections. We are already blocking pop-ups. And you can actually go down and block individual applications, right? From really opening the browser, which is actually quite nice. So if you want to block certain apps, you can do it from here, right? But even if you do so, we'll still remain here 
at the recommended option, which is the secure one. So how do we go to the strict one? It's very easy, guys. Keep scrolling, right? Your privacy is at risk. Turn on Smarty any tracking to protect your privacy. So when you just go and you just use circuit mode only, you know, this is going to be enabled. But see, still not strict. So right now, if you want to use the strict option, you need to use the secret mode all the time, which you can, of course, activate from the options. But if you want to go 100% secure, then you just click here on always, and then boom, now we're using the strictest security, right? So I don't really recommend you to do so unless you're really crazy about your security, but you can still do this. There is also the warning about malicious sites, block automatic downloads, and you can pretty much just reset it. So let me just try to show what happens when I reset my security options, right? I'm gonna go down to basic. Again, I'm not sure why Samsung implemented the basic privacy and security, while the recommended is actually the secure one. So I'm just going to enable block backward redirections to hit at least here. And you can just see, guys, 70 trackers tracked you 164 times today. And I even barely use my phone today, right? So it's just very, very annoying. When you go back to your browsing menu and you try to activate it, you're gonna go into settings and you're not gonna find it there, right? It's a bit tricky. So how do we activate the secret mode on? Very easy, just click here on all of your open tabs and boom, turn on secure mode. Keep your browsing private and safe, lock secret mode, you can now lock secret mode with a password or biometrics to get the most protection, which means that nobody besides you will really have access to what you are browsing while secure. So whatever you want to do with this, don't tell me it's your business, right? I don't need to know. But there are more things, guys. If you just want to install some more blockers, you hit the options here and then you go to add blockers. See how many we have. We have the ad block fast, the ad block for the Samsung internet. We have Outclear, we have Edgard. So there are options for you to block certain things up. So the theory is if you're using this latest version of the Samsung Internet Browser, things like this here, pixel.png, you know, that are put on the tracking servers on the web pages displayed to you should not be actually, you know, allowed on your phone, right? So I really hope that you like videos like this. There are plenty of other tips I can give you for the Samsung Stock Internet Browser. It is really very, very powerful. I'll probably do this in another video. And guys, please like the video if that's the case, right? Share it to your friends and please you and your families. Stay safe. With that said, VST over and bye.